Hi, I'm Joey. I'm a recruiter here with Dynamic Transit. And today I want to talk to you about something that we all hate, and that's math. Do you remember when you was in math class and you're sitting there thinking, why is she teach he or she teaching this? I don't need this. But the math that you were taught in school, you use it every day without even thinking about it. So today I just want to talk about how every day you do a simple equation or a simple formula called distance equals rate times time and everything that you do to determine how far you've went somewhere. So looking at this problem up here, um, it's pretty simple, but we're going to talk about it. You drive 1.25 hours at 55 miles per hour. How many miles did you drive? And I know for, for drivers, it's simple for you, but a lot of people don't know the type of things that you, the type of equations that you do every day in your daily activities. If it's moving from one parking spot to another parking spot, they don't think about the angles that you have to take. And you probably don't even think about it. You just second nature and you do it, but you're always doing math in everything you do. It could be algebra. It could be arithmetic reasoning, daily problem solving. You do a lot of things in your daily life out there on the, over the road. So I want to get into this today and kind of break this problem down so that people who don't know about the things that you do can kind of see, hey, the quick math that you have to do every time that you pick up a load or you're doing a, you're planning your trip, just the math and the problems that you have to solve every day. So let's get into it. So we have distance equals 55, cause that's our miles per hour, that's our rate, times 1.25, which is our time. So it's distance equals rate times time. So when we have 55 times 1.25 or multiplied by 1.25, that equals 68.75 miles for that day. Okay, on the next problem, we're gonna be discussing fuel usage. And we're gonna determine how many gallons it will take us to go 600 miles. So we're gonna assume that it's a great spring day and we get six miles per gallon on our 389 piece. All right, if we're gonna go 600 miles, the way we're going to do this, and I know for you veteran drivers, this is too easy for you, but for the, the new people or any new drivers out there that are just people watching this that don't know, we're going to do just a simple math problem to figure out how many miles, how many gallons it's going to take us to go 600 miles. So what we're going to do is, in simple math, we are we got 600 miles here, and we're going to divide that 600 by 6. And I love simple math. So when you divide, when 600 is divided by six, that equals 100 gallons. All right, so today we went over two math problems. Simple math, but I just wanna show people that the stuff that you learn in school, you just can't forget it because you will use it in your daily life. I wanna thank you. Again, I am Joey. I'm a recruiter here with Dynamic Transit, and I look forward to talking to you.